Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Haven't you wondered how it must be to have the ultimate power? One ring to rule them all. The ultimate lightsaber. Stay tuned, I've got the answer for you. So in today's episode, I'll be showing you guys how to make the ultimate flash drive. One flash drive to do anything or practically anything you can imagine. From loading windows to cracking passwords. So this is going to be fun. Let's jump in. Okay, so before we start this tutorial, you're going to need a few things. One would be the actual mounting software. Then the ISO of your choice. It can be Windows, Linux, whatever you prefer. Iron's Boot CD, which I will share in the comment section below. And whatever you want to mount. The sky's the limit. So we want to head over to the download section of Yumi. Click download and then run it. I want to click on my sub me please. This is my flash drive. See what I did there? Now let's go down to the bottom and select Windows, multiple Windows installers. This is very important because if you want to add stuff later, you can. I want to click on browse. I want to locate my drive that's got my programs on. Okay, located my Windows 64 bit. Once that's done, I want to go back to my multi-boot. It changed its name. Okay, I want to click on the drop-down list. I want to go to Linux Mint. So I browse and double-click my Linux Mint. Once that has been done, let us mount Hiren's Boot CD. I'm probably not going to show every single one, but you guys are starting to get the point. So. You see, Iron's Boot CD. There's options for most. However, I need to mention, if you don't find anything that suits the ISO, you can always try unlisted ISO GRUB4. So let's try unlisted GRUB4, just as an example. Um, what are we going to mount? Let's mount DPN OS. This is a fantastic operating system, by the way, guys. If you do not have money to purchase an operating system, I would suggest go download deep in OS. It's fantastic. So you would notice I click yes every time after each process. However, we're done now, so I don't want to, I want to click no. Let's test our flash drive. Okay, so first we want to boot from our flash drive. I'm just setting my priority to my flash drive. Okay, this is the layout. Pretty sweet. So under Linux, we've got DP and we've got Linux Mint. I made a few changes after the video. However, this is how it came out. Under unlisted installers, I've got password crack and I've got Hiren's boot CD. Hiren's boot CD is probably one of my favorite ones to use. As you can see, this thing is full of programs. Just as a fun test, let's load mini Windows XP. So I find Windows XP very nostalgic and very cool. It's got a few features like loading into your C drive, your D drives. Um, maybe if you want to find your old password in the SAM database, this is a good place to start looking for it. It even has its own control panel, which I find freaking amazing. This brings the end of this tutorial. So that's a wrap for this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really did enjoy making it for you. So one flash drive to rule them all. Remember, if you've not done so already, to like and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up if you did, hit the thumbs down if you didn't. Remember to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with my content. And I shall see you guys soon.